Hello, it's Mark from Herotech Systems and in this lesson we're going to look at how to configure hostname, banners, passwords, encryption, console and DVT wire lines on a Cisco router. This is the third lesson for the Cisco Packet Tracer training for beginners. If you missed the first lesson on how to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer on your PC irrespective of uh, the operating system which your computer is running. Uh, a link will be in the description to that video and um, if you also missed the video or the lesson on uh, how to bring up uh, the Cisco IOS a link uh, it will also be in the description below so you can use the link to watch that video so you can follow along now without further ado let us go straight into our packet tracer and configure the device so you're welcome to the Cisco packet tracer interface and we'll be configuring the 2911 router so I'm just going to bring it up here and then I'll go to the CLI so I talked about how to bring up the uh, iOS and assess the CLI in the last video uh, the link is in the description below uh, so okay uh, device must be powered on so the device is powered off so come here turn it turn it on good so we're just going to allow it load no, for clarity so no now you can see that the the uh, host name is called router so we're just going to enter into the global configuration mode and then change the host name with this command host name so I'm going to call it uh, sales alright so you can see that the host name has been changed from router to uh, the name which I just gave it sales so that's how you can change the host name and then to configure the privilege mode password now if you're using this command enable password the command enable either you use the enable password uh, let's say Cisco one two three as the uh, enable password now this enable password is uh, used for the privilege mode password not the user mode password the privilege mode password so uh, that is it or you can use enable secret the difference between enable password and enable secrets is that enable password will show the uh, password in plain text but the enable secret would encrypt the password so um, we're just going to leave it in plain text we'll configure uh, encryption uh, much later in the video so the next thing we're going to look at is how to configure a banner now a banner is usually used to uh, as a warning message to ward off unauthorized access into your device so we're going to configure banner uh, the banner will be configuring is MOTD MOTD that is message message of the day uh, okay it says we should include a delimiting ca character that indicates where the message begins and where it ends so I'm going to use hash my hash key to say okay this is where it's going to begin so it says enter text message so I'm going to um, use this and say uh, keep it in uh, uh, uppercase so uh, unauthorized access not permitted so, so I'll end it. That's the message. Now I'm going to end it with the delimit the, the, the 
limiting character which is the hash key i used before so that's that um so the next thing we'll be configuring is the uh line console now we'll configure the line console for uh enabling uh authentication one you uh, enable authentication on uh the on the console port so if a if a user is trying to access the console port using a serial cable then we can prompt for authentication and also uh configure passwords on the user mode on the user mode so um to do that say line console so the next thing we need to have is the first line number now if you look at you can see that you have zero zero meaning that you only have one console port on the router so you have only one line so um line console zero now we'll configure a password now we're going to configure a password because remember we want to prompt for authentication so we'll configure a password and we'll call it cisco now this command the next command i'm going to enter is very important because it's I, the one is the command that actually prompts the user for authentication so i use the login so so the login command is what prompts the user for authentication and then for you to uh, to to assess the user mode yeah you now need to enter this uh, uh cisco password this password called cisco uh, we'll see how it works uh after the configuration so the next thing we'll configure is the virtual terminal lines that is the v2y lines so it is uh normally configured to um prompt um users for authentication that try to uh assess the router through uh, uh um, it, it, an, it, an emulation program like telnet so those that want to assess it, re assess the router remotely using uh, a, a program like Telnet, for them to assess the user mode, you need to configure, um, you need to uh, configure the V2Y lines. You need to uh, enable login on it, and then also create a password. So let's get that done. By default, Cisco has Cisco devices normally have uh, the Cisco iOS devices normally have 16 virtual lines through which uh, a user can connect uh, to the device remotely so uh, it is best practice to configure uh, password and login for the 16 um, uh, virtual lines so we're going to look at so to do that we need to exit this uh, line configuration mode that we are in exit and then we are back to the global configuration mode so to do that we're going to say line the command is line vty so let's use the help key so it says enter first line number zero use the um, other one the uh, question mark two last line number which is uh, 15 so the last line number is 15 so zero to 15 makes 16 bit vty lines so I enter, I'm going to create the password and I'll call it Cisco as well and then log in. So there are other commands that are um, helpful in this uh, when you are configuring uh, the V2Y lines. Uh, I, 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 I missed it when I was configuring the console so I'll configure it here. Uh, I also configure it in the auxiliary port so um one of those command is login synchronous login synchronous now the login synchronous command is what stops the router from uh interrupting uh you when you're typing with co with um console messages so there are times when you're typing if you're if you're conversant with uh um cisco packet tracer or conversant with configuring the device the device keeps sending log messages to uh to the console trying to tell the administrator what is happening in the router 
So there are times when you could be typing a command and the message just pops up and it disrupts what you're typing and it's not a cool thing at all. So to stop that, we, we use this login synchronous. So I'll put that in. And then executive timeouts is another another command which I think we should look at. So the executive timeout command uh, is what you can use to set a time for this this session which we're running this this particular session this configuration session which we're running right now so if you want the, this session this executive session to time out after a particular time that's for the session to log out on its own where for you to now re-enter the session you now have to go through the user mode again you have to go through the privilege mode to the global configuration mode uh, which is some form of security uh, if I if I leave my device uh, um, uh, for for a certain period of time and it doesn't time out, somebody can just come and configure or do anything with it. So if I want to set the session to log out, and then before it, it, I, I can log back in, I have to enter my user mode credentials and my uh, privilege mode credentials. I'll set a time for it, or I can set it to never go out. So for example, I can say executive timeout executive timeout I can say zero and then timeout in seconds so the first one says timeout in minutes so zero minutes so the next one says timeout in seconds I can say after uh, let's say after 120 seconds that's after two minutes so if there is no activity on this session it's going to log out on its own uh, however, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to make it zero zero. It shouldn't time out. Um, so that is that. Now we need to configure the auxiliary port. So the line auxiliary port. So old devices used to have an auxiliary port where you either can uh, connect to the device through that means. But these days. Uh, devices don't have that port anymore but we're just still going to configure it so the same procedure password cisco um enable login login synchronous uh executive timeout uh zero zero so that's that um now we're going to go back to the privilege mode to look at our what we have configured so far um, yes so go back here and then remember show running configuration we show run show run config so we can see our password our host name is sales our password is cisco one two three Look at our console ports. This is our banner, uh, unauthorized access not permitted. So our line console, our line auxiliary port. Now notice that all this, all these um, passwords are shown in plain text. So if if somebody gets access to our device, they can easily see what our passwords are, and it's not so cool. It's not a cool. It's not you are not being security conscious as. And as a Cisco administrator, it is uh, it is not best practice to leave your passwords lying in plain text like this. So now we're going to configure password encryption for it. So we'll go back to the global configuration mode. Uh, I like to use the short form for everything. So conf t. Now in the global configuration mode, the command I want to use is service password encryption so I put in that command I exit and go back to check uh, I like to use short course so I'm just going to use show run so now you can see that my my Cisco one two three has been shown in plain text in has been encrypted uh, so you can see all my passwords are encrypted so nice and easy that is how it works so now to see what we have done so far, let's 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 log out of the session and try to log back in to the session. So I've logged back of my out of my executive session. I'm going to log back in. Now you can see that 
it's prompting the banner message saying unauthorized access not permitted so now it's going to ask for the user mode password which is the line console password which we entered uh, which is Cisco so Cisco good you can see it enters uh, so I'm going to put in enable now it wants the privilege mode password which is the enable password that we put in yeah, in initially so Cisco one two three nice so I can now configure go to the global configuration mode and do for that configuration so that's how to configure host name and different uh, configurations which we have put in here if the video has been useful to you please like the video it is the only way we can get the video out to uh, other people who might find it useful uh, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel to help us grow and then uh, click on the notification bell so that whenever we up updates or, or post new videos you would be notified and do not forget to share the video thank you very much for your time and in the next lesson we'll be looking at how to connect um, devices to a switch and configure static ip ip address on the devices uh, thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson.